What's going on in YouTube community and everyone? Uh, just making a quick little update video here. Chilling out in the backyard like we do out here in sunny Orange County, California. SoCal baby. Um, and I'm just chilling with uh, the usual suspects. Um, my uh, visual and uh, physical representations of the black tortoise, uh, sorry, the black tortoise of the north and uh, the azure dragon of the east. So we're about to get to the dragon, but just wanted to show you guys Goldie over here. This is a beautiful little sulcata tortoise um, named Goldie that I believe is a male. Not 100% sure yet, but he's not very old, and that's the precise reason why. He's only a few years old, and um, but he's out here doing his thing that he likes to do, you know. I don't... Um, you know, I don't mess with the tortoise playpen or whatever. You know, it's cool and stuff, but I want to get him out here to really roam. And um, he basically makes this entire grassy area his domain. And this is just like a small fraction of it. He basically gets to roam all of this lawn as often as I can get him out. You know, we got a lot of area for him to roam here, so he has a great time. He's getting bigger. But like I said, he's still pretty young, so it's going to be another, you know, 10, 20 years before he's really a, a big boy getting uh, fully grown and all. But, you know, we love this guy. He's the little homie. He um, he is known to eat all types of shit out here. Uh, but like I said, you know, for sulcata, it's very important to be able to be outside in the sun and graze and be able to cover as much ground as possible and eventually dig, too. He's he's pretty small, so he's not... He likes to dig, but he doesn't get too into it now, and mostly because I don't allow him to. Uh, you know, he, he actually lives indoors. I just get him outside as often as I can. We have a good time coming out here in the sun because, you know, I want to get him real UV exposure, um, you know, not no, not no artificial... So we're trying to get him out here in the sun as often as possible and uh, promote the grazing and uh, all sort of natural behaviors. And he's he um, continues to grow up incredibly strong and healthy um, to the maximum as a result of that. And, um, you know, I'm not uh, a huge stickler for pyramiding or anything like that, but he has not a sign, not a not a single sign of pyramiding at all. He has a very natural, healthy diet, very natural um and a very hearty appetite. He he. Uh, this tortoise eats all types of stuff. Like I said, he's uh, he's uh, straight up eaten an entire rat out here before that I was defrosting for the tegu. But speaking of the tegu, we're gonna head on over to him. But you know that's our man Goldie. He's just running around right now like he does. But without further ado, we're gonna move on to as I said the azure dragon of the east. But you know Goldie is a sulcata tortoise, and then this is our boy Tookie right here. Um, everyone calls him Took. He has a lot of names, but He's right out here doing the same thing as Goldie, but in his own way, like a blue dragon. And he's getting some sun out here, chilling. <clears throat> we got, um, what is it today? It's Saturday. So we're just chilling out here. It's about like, uh, I think it's about 2.30 right here. Oh, hey buddy. How you doing? And uh, he's getting nice and warm out here. Even though it's the middle of winter here in uh, California, we still have been getting sun almost every day. And uh, you see he got a little piece of salmon on, his, uh, on the right side of his face right there. Oh, he wants to he wants to move around for us. Maybe come say hey. But uh, this is our man right here, man. You know, um, this is what I like to do in my you know with my time, and uh, it's very healthy, beneficial for the animals. Bring in uh, Tookie and Goldie out here, and these are the only um, tortoise and tegu in my collection that I can trust to come out here with me. And these guys, um, these guys do well. Here, Tookie's going over to the pool, not trying to get a drink, but definitely moving around like you do so we're gonna keep the uh, camera on him a little bit here but yeah man we uh yeah we have a good time out here but this is Tookie so uh Goldie you know Sulcata tortoise and I actually ended up the way I got him was uh it's from Reptile Moogle out in Arizona but I got him at a reptile show in Pomona and I won him in a raffle so so I put a dollar on I remember I remember everything I put a dollar on a credit card had a really good feeling about it all and um you know, next thing I know, I'm picking out Goldie from amongst the crowd. So that was a good time with him. But with Tookie, now I've had Took um, a little bit longer than Goldie, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got Took in August, and then um, Goldie, Goldie was uh, in January of the following year, if I'm not mistaken. But I've had them both for a good few years, and Tookie here is about, um, let's see, I think he's approaching four now. Let's see, no, 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 I actually think he's approaching five. So I got him in... Uh, I got this guy in 2015, 2020, yeah, so he's approaching five. He'll be five in July this year, even though we don't know his exact birthday, which we did. Well, let's go follow him and see what he's up to for a second here. 
But continuing to talk about him, um, he's from a reptile breeder out in Arizona. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name, but got him at the, also at the same reptile show, uh, but the one in August. I found a little piece of salmon that he flung from earlier for this little fillet. <laughs> but he, he's too good for that, apparently. Too small for him. But I uh, got him at the uh, same exact place as Goldie. Just at a different month, you know, he was a summer, summer baby, and I got him in the summer. He was only about three weeks old when I got him, which was sometime around August 10th. So I know, you know, straight lion's gate. So I know, like, uh, yeah, he's, 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 a lot, lot too much to say about this guy. That he renders, that I'm rendered speechless. But at the same time, what I was saying, got him in the summer, and um, wish I knew his exact birthday, but... You know, always coming up to say, hey, this is my man, though. You know, I got him when he was three weeks, approximately three weeks old, and he used to fit in the palm of my hand like a little guy. Raised him from, you know, being a little baby. Um, and as you can see, he has a capital G on his head, you know. Ain't nobody, uh, you know, basically ain't nobody wondering. It's just out there for y'all to see. So, you know, a real dragon god in this, but it's also a six, too, which, uh, correlates um you know to myself and um my body in this lifetime and whatnot <laughs> aka my natal chart and different uh planetary alignments and uh spatial alignments but Toki is uh approximately 75 percent blue tegu dna so he's a blue tegu mainly but he definitely has genes of chico and whitehead as well so he's that's why he's He's getting a lot larger, get developing a really thick frame. He's got a big, nice white head. So he's basically got the best of both worlds when it comes to all the beautiful colors and uh, the beautiful temperament of blue tegus. But then he's also got the size and the um, the power and the, um, what's the right word for that? Um, it's kind of like a wow factor type thing. He's got the... Um, you know, he's got the elegance and he's got the uh, the appearance with the Chacon Whitehead as well, too. So he's got a lot of extra whites in him. He's basically like a high white tegu. And he's, uh, you know, he's in tip-top shape, perfect condition. Excuse the helicopter rudely flying over my backyard during my video. Uh, but it's okay. Toki's not bothered. So, well, he's definitely hearing it for sure. Everyone is. But... Um, let's see. Let's zoom in on him a little bit there. There we go. He's going to keep giving us a show he's basically showing us how he prowls this yard and is his territory and his domain and that's what he does and um you know he does this for sure he knows what's up but also uh, let's, see, let's see what was i talking about so he's got the um yeah yeah i'm still wondering what exact i guess just the brilliance of the chacon white-headed tegu mixed with the brilliance of the blue tegu so it's absolutely you know he's a beautiful specimen no doubt about it he is a male you know that's why i'm calling him he and all you know he's the man dude let's see he's digging around in here somewhere let's get in here and see what he's up to there he is but continuing to talk about our man Toki. um yes he is a blue tegu with the name Toki. And um, I think a lot of you would, would understand that, but, you know, I'm not a gang member, but, you know, just throwing up props and whatnot, so. Um, but, you know, it's just kind of a correlation, you know, of um, technically both of these animals are named after Crips, which is pretty funny uh, to think about. But, like I said, I'm, I ain't no gang member, but this is my boy Tookie, though. And, um, yeah, he's just a beautiful animal. He has all of his toes, full length of his tail. He does... You know, it's impossible because this is how he does. You know, tegus is what they do. They love, they love, you know, squeezing through tight spaces and burrowing and scratching shit up. And so they, they bloody their noses regularly and scratch themselves up. But they're very hardy, very uh, intelligent animals. And, uh, you know, Tookie is the greatest example of this. Um, and, you know, so he, he, would, he, would, he would basically sell as a perfect specimen. If I wanted to sell him, he'd be worth uh, quite a bit. He's going to be a big breeder soon. But we're never selling this guy. He's our, he's our, he's our best friend. So this is uh, my spirit dragon manifested right here. It's my boy coming out to get some more sun. Keep following him a little bit. But, yeah, man, I'm not trying to make a super long video. <coughs> <coughs> I just want to... Um, do a quick little update because, uh, you know, I showed a little video recently at the Jungle Gang um, and some different animals. But, you know, want to start slowly making some more videos about different uh, animals in the collection. And these are, uh, you know, these are 
the young up-and-comers. These are the dominant two. I don't even know what to say about it. I don't know how to classify them, but they're the two that I get to come outside with regularly, you know, out of 16 animals. Um, not all of them are diurnal, so not all of them would benefit from being out here, but I'm slowly working on getting all my diurnal animals uh, outdoors, probably full-time since I'm in Cali, but um, uh, Tookie and Goldie have a lot of fun coming out here. I, I let Took stay outside, you know, uh, sometimes overnight, sometimes a few a few days in a row or something. He has lots of different burrows and places he frequents of the yard. He really is, you know, this is the dragon's lair. And this is really his, his domain. He prowls. He knows what's up. Here he is soaking up some sun next to the fire pit, next to the pool. Not like he does. Find him out here in the morning when I let him spend the night out here. Oh, and here's Goldie looking like a straight dinosaur over here. Let's see if we can get him on here. He's coming over too. Sorry for the shakiness. I am, uh, you know, I just finished a lot of coffee and, uh, yeah, man, just a little shaky, I guess. But, you know, that's what we do out here. We have a lot of fun. Now, you know, it's interesting to note, so, tegus obviously are much more carnivorous, much more of a predator, predatory type of animal versus the sulcata tortoise. Sulcata and all tortoises will eat meat, and they love feeding on carrion and, and dead animals and stuff in the wild, but with an emphasis on dead, you know, they don't hunt, so... They basically are opportunistic feeders to the maximum, and that's why they're, you know, the way that they live is, is you know, the method of grazing and everything. But tegus, however, are uh, apex predators, and they basically kill and eat whatever they want. Now, Tookie over here is a sweetheart, but he has definitely, he has a little bit of a track record, and there was one time, probably a year or two ago, probably within the last year, maybe a year and a half at the most, where uh, he actually did, when Goldie was a little smaller, he actually did go for Goldie, and he he um, came right up to Goldie in the very front of his, in the very front of his, uh, right where his head is and everything, and, you know, Goldie, you know, with that, with that, you know, super strong shell and being built, very, very solidly built, uh, like Sulcatas are, you know, he went back into that shell, he retreated, and he was safe, but Tookie came right up to the front of him and just chomped down on him and just was uh, ready to go on in, and I broke that up real quick because I was standing not far away, so I was uh, quick to notice altercation and quick to put a stop to it so I reached right into Toki's mouth and got him to um you know lift the fuck off of my other boy you know but this guy has he he does have a um a track record like I said of of unfortunately you know just kind of like some just um, unfortunate you know high high learning process type of situations where he killed he was able to kill two more of my tortoises at one point but he wasn't able to eat them because they were too big but he was able to kill them because he was trying to eat them um, and they're much much less hardy much less sturdy and solidly built much more delicate and fragile than the sulcata tortoise these are marginated tortoises they're a lot more soft they're uh, testudo tortoises whereas sulcatas are uh Honestly, I don't even know the name of the genus, but it's a, not testudo. They're a much larger body from Africa, whereas uh, marginators are from Europe and, and whatnot. So here's Goldie going on some grazing. Looks like we can probably get everyone in on the same shot here. There's Goldie chomping down like you do. There's my shadow. But yeah, this is, our, this is where we do, you know, we hang out with these boys. But other than that, they get along. That's the only incident we've ever had. And that's, you know, Tookie was very warm that day and he was very hungry. And I was I hadn't fed him yet, but this uh, alerted me that I needed to feed him ASAP. So, you know, he was basically sending a message in that moment. So, you know, everyone gets along now, especially now that Goldie's just getting bigger. And pretty soon, Goldie could, Goldie could get Took. And actually, it's funny, Goldie has tried to eat Took as well. He's come up to Tookie and started to try to eat his toes and... and all sort of stuff man so these guys are just hilarious man and um but that's the only time i've ever had to break anything up was when tookie was biting down on took on uh goldie and like i said he's killed two tortoises that way before so but goldie not a scratch he's a, he's a very hardy tortoise sulcatas are very solidly built and he's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger so like i like i was trying to say you know he could bully took coming up in the future tookie ain't gonna have anything on him man ain't gonna have shit so but there there he goes speaking of tookie and he's going into his little domain here into the hedge where he likes to go and um, kind of see him in there let's see let's see if we can get a little shot yeah he goes in here and he burrows out and all sort of good stuff so you know thanks for checking out this video everyone um just wanted to kind of show you guys you know what's going on out here what we do and these are um two of my primary animals uh and two best friends you know two two good solid connections that i have um in my life currently and i'm very very grateful so
you know, every day I'm focused on how I can take the best care of these guys. And these are the, like I said, these are the only two I can take outside like this and just chill with them. So I do this as often as I can. We chill out in the sun in uh, the Cali, you know, the warm California sun. And, um, yeah, man, I think that's going to conclude the video for now. And, uh, we'll definitely hopefully post some more soon. Um, and, uh, you know, any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for checking out everyone. Appreciate it. And, uh, we'll talk to you soon.